Welcome to factory IO environment. Today, we were going to run this unit called the assembler. The objective is, assemble parts made of lids and bases, using a two axis pick and place. We will make a PLC ladder program using Siemens totally integrated automation, to run this unit. Before we begin programming, let us check first the sequence operation of the unit. This hidden box with green arrow is your emitter, it will emit an item to be used in a scene. Click on the play button to run the system. Now, let's run the lids conveyor. When the product lid reach the sensor, lids conveyor will stop, and clamp lid will energize. When clamp lid hold the product, lid clamp will give command to move z-axis. And it will grab the product. After grabbing the product, clamp lid will release, and move z-axis goes up. Then move x-axis will energize to move the product forward to base conveyor. Take note, both conveyor should run at the same time in normal operation. So let us energize base conveyor to transport blue product base to the clamp. The same operation in product lid. When product base reach the sensor, base conveyor will stop, and base clamp will energize and move Z will go down to place the product lid to the base. Grab will de-energize, and move Z will go up. Then clamp base will release. Move X will return on its original position. And positioning raise will go up, and base conveyor will run. When product pass the part leaving sensor, positioning rays will go down. So that will be the sequence operation, let us make now the PLC ladder programming. Welcome to Siemens TIA portal software. As you can see, we will use S7300 CPU, with 16-bit digital input and output module, and 2 amp power supply. Always take note about the I.O. tags of your module before making a program. The addresses of the input module is ranging from input 0.0, .0 to input 1.7. And for the output addresses, it start with Q4.0 to Q5.7. Now let's make a tag table, where all the input and output addresses that we are going to use should be enumerated here. By knowing all your inputs and outputs, let's go back to factory I.O. Click on the senses tags on the toolbar. Senses tag will be our inputs. Include also the start and stop button as an inputs. And then next to it is the actuators tags where all outputs is located. Now, we've got all inputs and outputs. Let's start making the tag table. PLC tag tables contain the definitions of the PLC tags and symbolic constants that are valid throughout the CPU. A PLC tag table is created automatically for each CPU used in the project. You can create additional tag tables and use these to sort and group tags and constants. Now we already create the tag table, let's save it, and open the program blocks, and click on OB or operational block, to build a PLC ladder program. Looking back the operation, 
When the units start, lid and base conveyor will run at the same time. On our first network, let's insert a normally open contact and address it as start. When start energized, two conveyor will run, so let's add a two set function and address it as lid and base conveyor. By continuing the process, when the product pass through the sensor, clamp will energize. Sensors are lid at place for lid conveyor and base at place for base conveyor. OK, let's see again the operation. Conveyor is energized. Then product pass through the sensor. Then clamp lid and clamp base will energize. So for our network 2, we will add normally open contact and address it as lid at place. When lid at place sensor activate, clamp lid will energize. So let's put a set function and address it as clamp lid. As soon as the product is in the right place, lid conveyor should stop. So let's add a branch and put a reset function to reset the lid conveyor. Now, let's us test the first two network program. But before that, we will configure first the factory I.O. to connect it to PLC simulation. By testing, we can intercept if there was an error, so we can fix it and prevent any mess on our program. In factory I.O. menu bar, click on file, and then click drivers. Here, we should configure the drivers correctly, or else your project will not run. Click on the driver drop down box, a list of drivers will appear, we will choose S7 PLC SIM. You can see now a PLC right in the middle, with an input and output assignment. Clear the I.O. assignment, and we will put our program input and output. Let's split the screen, so we can see our ladder program. Looking on the I.O. address on our PLC ladder program, Output address don't match on the PLC in the factory I.O. Siemens output address starts in 4.0, while in factory I.O., output address starts in 0.0. .0. Click on the configuration and change Boolean output offset to 4. If you have a different address in PLC program and PLC device, obviously your system will not work. Now, Let's drag the tag name on its corresponding address, according to our program. After that, click connect, to communicate the factory I.O. to Siemens PLC program. Compile PLC program and upload it to PLC SIM, and then run the CPU. Click the play button in factory I.O., and then click the start button in the panel to run the system. The sensor lid at place energized, but the product didn't pass through the sensor, so clamp lid didn't catch the product lid. 
Let's start again the simulation. So when the product lid reach the sensor, clamp lid activate and conveyor turns off. That's why clamp lid didn't catch the product. We have to modify network 2 program. Product lid should pass through the sensor to reach the clamp lid location. What function we should put to the network 2 ladder to fix this problem? If you have an answer to share, please feel free to share it on the comment below. This is the end of part 1, check the part 2 of this video to find out the solution of the problem. To stay up to date with the latest videos, make sure to subscribe to the machine channel by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.